Hey guys, VFX Bro here with the next tutorial in After Effects. We're going to be taking two single still images that you take from any regular camera and changing them into a video like the one you see here. Um, all of our last tutorials have related to this music video I showed you at the beginning. And this shot here you see to open up the music video is the same thing. Uh, one picture turned into a video. So we're going to go ahead and start off with a new project and import um, two images. When you're taking these shots, they're the same shot set up on a tripod, and you're going to want to have your first shot be of a person if you want to do the same floating image that we did and um, that we're going to be using for this example. So we got one picture of the background, which won't be moving. And then we've got one picture of the object which you're going to have moving. Right. So we're going to take our back frame and call it projected. Copy and duplicate it by hitting Command C and Command V. We're going to rename the new copy reference and bring it to the bottom. So we've got projected and reference here. We're going to go layer, new, camera. We shot this at a 28 millimeter focal length. So that's the things we're using here in After Effects. We're going to go layer, new, light and add that in as well. Then we're going to go layer, new, solid. And we're going to make our solid a white color. Hit OK and add those three new elements into our composition. Now we're going to go over to our effects and type in grid. Go down to where it says generate. Grab the grid and put it on top of our new solid layer. Then we're going to go to our border, make it a little bit thicker, 30 or 6 or so. looks pretty good and then we're going to make it a 3D object. We're going to select our projected image and make that 3D as well. Now we're going to take our camera, hit P for position, and click on the position and copy it by hitting Command C, and then we're going to paste it to the light by hitting Command V, and then select the projected and paste it to the projected as well by hitting Command V while projected is selected. Let's go over to our view tab and select a two view position mode. We're going to select the projected now that we're looking at the top view here on the left. And we're going to move the projected image slightly in front of the camera right there. So we can see here that it's filling the frame up too big. So we're going to go to our scale by hitting S and scaling it down so that it fits into our frame. Let's go back to one view and just drag it up so that it fits exactly into the composition size that we have originally set. Let's go ahead and select the projected and pick whip it to the camera. So as we move the camera, the projected and the light will also move with the camera, which we have just pick whipped. We're going to turn off our projected image now. And we're going to take our grid and kind of set up a 3D world that's similar to the picture we've taken. Now when you're taking this picture, you want to make sure that it has very straight edges. So alleyways are very good, um, floors, dumpsters as we see here, all of these edges are very straight. So you have to make sure that your background is very straight when you're setting up this shot. We're going to copy the grid by hitting Command C and Command V and paste it for as many walls as we see in this image. So we can see here we have the ground, which is considered a wall. We have the back wall, a couple side walls, and the dumpster. So we need to copy and paste this grid several times so that we have just as many grids as walls within the shot. For the first time, you might want to start off with a simpler shot where you just have a floor and a back wall. We're going to move this back just so that we kind of set up a similar scene to the picture that we have here. Move that back there, kind of line it up. A lot of this takes just practice um, being able to set up shots in a way that matches with the picture that you've taken. Let's go ahead and move that up. We're going to hit the W button is a very useful key that allows us to quickly access the rotation of the grid. Let's go back to our single view here and we're going to hit the C button to change the camera perspective and move it around so that it matches with our picture. After doing so, we're going to select all of the grid here, all of the grids, and um, we're going to change the material options and change the cast uh, or sorry, we're going to change the accept lights to off, and then we're going to do the accept shadows on. That's good. 
and leave those settings alone. We're gonna go to our light and go to the options and change the cast shadows to on. And then finally, we're going to go to our projected image, go into the material options and change the cast shadows to only and put our light transmission to 100%. So now basically we're shining a light through that first projected image and it's being casted onto this grid here that we set up. And since our grid matches the uh, geometry of our original scene, uh, we'll be able to move the camera in 3D space and have our projected image be affected. After turning our reference image off and our projected image on, we're gonna select all of the grid and turn off the effects here and now we are going to unlink the light and the projected image. So as we move the camera around, the projected and the light won't follow it anymore. Uh, we're going to go to our composition settings and change in the advanced render settings to options, comp size. We're going to make it 4,000 or the greatest that it can be. 